Hello YouTube, it's me, Brittany, and I am here on the day after Trans Day of Remembrance. I was gonna do a video yesterday, but I'm not gonna lie, I worked a lot of hours the last weekend, all the way up until yesterday morning, and I fell asleep at like 7.38 in the morning, and woke up at around midnight. And I've been up since. So I've been working and getting some things done all day long. Um, and I've been thinking about things to do. You know, um, obviously I didn't get to talk about, you know, the 331 worldwide that have been you know, murdered because they're trans, you know, in the 22 in the United States, those are sad things. We do need to remember them. And, but, uh, after, you know, everybody has that day where we, you know, are remembering the people that we lost and, you know, kind of maybe thought maybe you'd feel down. So I was thinking today, let's do a video that kind of brings you back up to the positive. So, um, I haven't really come up with a really good title for this one yet. So I just like was thinking, let's think of things that are good things to look at for the future for trans people. So yes, we've had a rocky, rocky past, um, but it's been getting better. Um, you know, it's not definitely struggled in the last, you know, six to eight, probably three years since the last person was elected, but um, there's been positives that uh, to look forward to. Excuse me, that is not your drink and you are not allowed to drink my water. Do not go in front of the camera. Sorry guys. Um, but anyways, um, so, uh, so I thought the best thing to do would really be to just sit down and go over some of the positive things. And let's talk about some of the elected officials that have been trans in history as well as right now. Um, so as right at this moment, there are um, 16 elected officials around the country that are openly transgender. Um, that does not include non-binary or intersex uh, as well. Um, I'm speaking specifically for transgender um uh, people in this situation. However, um, the most important one to, th to, to name would be Danica Rame, um, who is from Virginia. She was elected the very, she was the very first openly elected transgender person to a state legislator in Virginia in 2017. And now this year, she was just recently the first openly transgender person to be re-elected for office, um, which is really, really good. And if you look at the circumstances from where she came from, um, the person she beat out originally in 2007 was the same person in Virginia who was trying to uh, start a bathroom ban. Um, so uh, this was really, really good for not just the transgender community because she was able to stop that from happening, but also for her own community because if you look her up, she's really, really brilliant and smart lady um, and she's doing wonderful things for her area. Um, but um, I, I actually went and did the total numbers and looked up the uh, total amount of elected officials that transgender people have had over history and that number is 36 and it varies from city council to school board to state legislature we have had two elected mayors. Um, there's 12 that I have listed as miscellaneous. Miscellaneous could be they were on the Democratic Convention uh, board or they were elected to the Democrat, uh, vice president of the Democratic Party in Oregon, um, something like that. But So there's 12 that are in that miscellaneous category. Um, and then there's 12 that have been elected to city council seats. Um, no, Megan, stop. Um, she just wants to run right in front of the camera. But um, but there have been six total that have been elected to a state legislator. So uh, Danica was not the very first one. She is the very first openly transgender person to serve. Um, we can go back and look at the very first openly transgender person elected to office. Uh, a state office was in the state of Massachusetts in 1992. However, she resigned before... Um, Oh, no, sorry. Um, Thea was not openly transgender while she was in office from 1992 to 1994 in the state of Massachusetts. Um, she, I'm going to hold you if you keep trying to go there. I'm going to stop you. You can lay down right there. Um, anyways, uh, sorry. Uh, so Thea was elected in 1992, but she wasn't open. She didn't come out until after she was uh, left office. So I don't consider her as the first, but she was, she is considered the first transgender person to be elected, even though she didn't uh, serve as an open transgender person. Um, the first openly trans person to be elected, unfortunately, did not get to serve because they resigned for some legal issues. Um, and that was back in 2012 in the state of New Hampshire, Stacey Lawton. Um, uh, I don't know too much about the story. I didn't want to research too much about it. Um, but that is, um, she was the first person to 
fully be elected as an openly transgender person. Now some legal issues kept her from actually taking the office so she resigned before she was fully went. Um, that's why Danica is considered the first openly transgender person to be elected. Um, there have been three others. Um, there is one in the state of Colorado and two in the state of New Hampshire that are actively right now. Um, <clears throat> they were elected in 2018 um, and they are actively serving as state legislators as at this moment. Um, there are um, there's one judge. Um, I did not look to see if this judge is still active, but this is the first ever judge to be elected to office that's openly transgender. It was in Alameda, California, California, um, in 2010. Um, and, uh, I think that's really cool because having a transgender judge, uh, Oh my goodness, if I had a transgender judge when I was first coming out trying to do my name change, it would have been a such easier process. Not that my name change was that difficult, but I did have to ask some interesting questions, uh, answer some interesting questions from the judge that I felt were not really necessary. And probably if I would have had somebody who understands transgenderism uh, sitting on the thing, it wouldn't have been near as bad. So I, I personally thought that was a really cool one, was the first judge. I didn't know that there was ever a transgender judge in the United States. Um, the very first mayor ever elected was from in New Hope, Texas, um, which is really weird. Like, Texas? Really? I didn't expect that. But New Hope, Texas in 2016, uh, that person's name was Jeff, Jess Herbst. I probably said that wrong. Um, but, uh, oh, and the judge's name was Victoria, I'm going to say this name wrong, Kala, Kala, Kalakowski, Kalakowski, I probably said it wrong, but anyway, um, she was the very first judge ever elected, um, uh, openly transgender judge, uh, so that's really super awesome, so, like, there's lots of positives to look for, yes, there's, there's sad things that we have to remember, the 22 people that were lost this year, um, uh, brutally for no reason and the the sad thing about that number is the fact that it's probably skewed because trans people are often misgendered when crimes happen against them so um you know it says 22 in the united states but it could be more than that had you know gendered you know people have been gendered properly when crimes had happened so um but i want us to look up you know it's a bright positive new day it's a new year um you know uh just be positive um Anyways, um, I've noticed that I've gained a lot of subscribers in the last couple of days, weeks, whatever. It's been awesome. Um, if you have not seen my show from Saturday, go ahead and check it out. Um, subscribe to the channel. Um, scroll down. You will find my show that was just on Saturday, November 16th at Route 6. Um, I headlined. I did a full 15-minute set, and I posted the whole set here onto my channel for you guys to enjoy. It's a super hilarious set. I really, really recommend it. I'm super proud of it. So, um go check it out if you have not already if you have thank you very much um once again that's all i really have to say to you guys i love you guys all we will talk to you guys all later Bye bye